very competitive. <laughs> so I was uh, when I was looking this uh, show, like the Steve Harvey, the talk show host, like uh, he asked the people, like, so tell me, what do you do? Like, so what's your, like, uh, thanks for coming here. So tell me, what do you do for a living? So, like, it was very interesting. Like, two people answered, actually, I'm not doing anything right now. Like, uh, I'm looking, we are looking for jobs. So, like, even on the TV, like, people were saying the truth. Because a lot of people are without jobs. Yeah. And, uh... Some people, they are maybe they just do whatever they have to do in order to pay their bills, but I think they are not satisfied with the jobs that they have. So I was reading one of those articles that my friends sent me on Facebook. Sometimes Facebook can be a good thing. <laughs> so <praise God. laughs> uh, Facebook is good if you use it for good purpose. Because they have the whole life there. If you put something that's interesting about Jesus, that's really good. So this article was so interesting to me. So I thought like uh, I would share with you all today, this evening. Uh, like I said, a lot of people are looking for jobs these days. The article is also about this person who is looking for a job. He's applying for a management position. When I read his resume, when I saw the name of the person, this is me, I said, oh, I know this person very well. I heard of him. He's the most interesting person I ever known. He can definitely be the best manager ever. His background information, his job objective, his qualifications, his work experience was so interesting to me. I thought, to myself, what an awesome candidate he is. How come he is still looking for a job? This is the perfect man that anybody can accept to make things perfect, to change things, to make things successful. Come on. Think about yourself for a moment. Uh, think that you are a business owner. All of you all here today, everybody here is a business owner today, okay? At least for today. <laughs> <laughs> Think that you own your own company. Yes. In, maybe in Jesus' name, someday you will own it. Amen! Amen. 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 So, maybe we can say pastor's company. <laughs> State and soul winning company. Yeah. <laughs> Or brother, brother Brent's agency, or we can like think whatever you want. So, what would you do to make your business or company successful? Who would you hire to work? You will always hire the best people to work for you. If you want to make a business or company successful, you always want the best people to work for you. You will look for the best fit, the most qualified candidate. I know how it is when you go for an interview for a job, the business owners, the directors, or the hiring person, I know they always look for the best candidate. There were so many times I've been rejected from job applications or for, from an interview due to lack of qualifications. It is understandable. If you want to have the best company, you should hire the best managers ever. You should hire the best, best workers ever. So this resume says, the uh, re resume I read, it says like this. Hello, my name is Jesus Christ. Many call me Lord. I've sent you my resume because I'm seeking the top management position in your heart. Please consider my accomplishment as set forth in my resume. John 14, 6 says, Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. John 3.16 says, one of the most famous verses says, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. John 3.36, all these verses like John was writing, he said, he that believeth on the son so hath everlasting life and he that believeth not the son shall not see life. Yes. But the wrath of God abideth on him. So when I read these verses in Gospel of John, I know without a doubt that the Jesus that Jesus is the best candidate you can ever have in your life yes. 
for your heart's management position. Yeah. Without a doubt. Actually, there's no other candidate who can handle this position. Right. There is no other substitute for Amen. him. Amen. Jesus has more qualifications than any other person. He has more qualifications yes. than any other gods. Yeah. Matter of fact, he's the only God. Because Jesus is the only God. Right. Because the Bible says there is only one God and his name is Jesus. Yeah. Even my say it all the time. Because bigger or small, we all know that's the truth. Amen. Amen. Come on. Amen. Come on. Amen. 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 Personal background. So I, I checked my resume, so I thought I'm going to write it the way like I have expressed in my resume. When you take a resume, there are like parts. It right. says personal backgrounds, your qualifications, your educational right. background. Right. So I thought I'll do it in the same way. His name, Jesus of Nazareth, the Son of God, born in Bethlehem about 2000, approximately about 2,000 years ago, was so humble to born in a manger so today we can have a good life. Yeah. Yeah. Mother's name was Mary. Yeah. Amen. Right. Qualifications of Jesus. He is the one who created the universe, who laid the foundations of the earth, yes. who made you and me, who gave yes. the air for us to breathe. Right. Right. Proverbs, 3, 9, 90, Proverbs 3 19 says, The Lord by his wisdom hath found the earth. Yes. By understanding hath he established the heavens. So everything I'm talking about, I just want to give scriptures from the Bible Amen. to know because the word of God is true. Amen. Genesis 2, 7 says, And the Lord God formed the man of the dust of the ground and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, yeah. and man can become a living soul. Yes. Yes. So another qualification, Jesus, he is my protector. Psalm 138, yes. 7 says, Though I walk in the midst of the trouble, Thou wilt re revive me. Yeah. Thou shalt stretch forth thine hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. Jesus yeah. is my provider. Genesis 22 14. And Abraham called the name of that place Jehovah Jireh, as it said to this day, In the mount of the Lord it shall be seen. Jesus, he is my comforter. John 14 26. Yeah. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Come on. Jesus, he is my counselor. Isaiah 9, 6. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father. Oh, he's all for me. He's Amen. everything to your life Amen. and to my life. Amen. Oh. Amen. Educational backgrounds of Jesus. You think maybe Jesus didn't go to school, but let's see. He, he's a very smart guy, I think. He's very smart. <laughs> Jesus, he knows anything and everything. Yes. He was because he was taught by the Holy Spirit. Yes. He studied with the Pharisees and scribes, but he knew more than them. Right. Because matter of fact, when he was 12 years old in the temple, he taught them. Yes. 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 Jesus, he's very good in math. Yes. You, you, you all will think what I'm saying is crazy, but I have proof. I'll show you. 